little colored wools. Nah. <laughs> I'm winter, and I just realized I made a cross last time without even realizing it. Huh. Uh, <laughs> this is the end of rainbow, as I decided to call it. With not uh, lots of imagination, the, the present the, the of uh, Superhot Adventures, the first season of many, of many, I see. We need one more. Okay, that's good. I feel so incredibly proud of myself because I solved something that has been bugging me for a long while. And that's something related to Super Fun Adventures. Oh, is it related? It really is. I need to make sure. I don't think this can be any safer than this. Give me that. I'll place it here. I'll take this. Is there any way I can set up on torches? I just leave it like that. I think it's good. Got one. Dressing tables here. Before, oh yeah, I need to collect the wood really fast. Uh, let's see. I don't have a chest. Hmm. Okay, let's do basic things. We need a very important tool. Da 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 da. This will help. This is going to help too. Now let's go get some wood. Wait, it is not going to help at all. After all, the only time I will be digging through something is that, so I think this can do, even though it's a tiny bit slower. Just for safety instead, this is going to be a bit more useful. Boop! Okay, <laughs> where should I put it? I'll put you here, and I'll put you here, and you can be here. And that's it! Alright! What was I going to do? Wood! Wood! It's right here! <laughs> you see, uh, before starting to series... Uh, I have tested tons of super flat presets because I wanted to get as used as possible to the generation rules of super flat worlds and what they do and how they work, how they change things, what works, what doesn't, what kind of super flat worlds are actually interesting to see and to play in, uh, what kind of gimmicks I could come up with, and so on. Something that has bothered me for a long while, and that admittedly I sold just 10 minutes ago, was the Ender Dragon spawning mechanic in a super flat world in the sky biome. According to the Minecraft wiki, I believe this is written both in the Super Flat page and in the Ender Dragon page. If you have a Super Flat world set in the sky biome and travel all the way to the center of the map, zero, zero, you're going to find the Ender Dragon. Right? Because the Ender Dragon spawning... Uh, that, there was no need for that, actually. I just used up uh, durability. The Ender Dragon spawning mechanic works like that. He spawns one Ender Dragon, one Ender Dragon for End Biome. Problem is, that didn't work. Sometimes I would spawn a Super Flat World, I would generate a Super Flat World, which travel all the way to zero zero. This biome was sky one, the end one, and in the middle of the map, but the ender dragon was not there. And there would be no health bar on top either. It just wouldn't work. And that has been driving me insane because I couldn't figure out for the life of me why. <laughs> the only thing I had discovered and I knew for sure, which is what... Uh, made me confident enough in starting this series, even though I still hadn't quite solved the mystery, was that whatever the issue was, it was with the present, and not with the seed. So if I pick the present, no matter which characteristics 
it had and had the uh it was in the sky biome. I could generate as many words as I wanted and the ender dragon would always be there with specific presents and with others it wouldn't like the seed would not affect it. How much wood do I have? A eh, decent amount. I really like exploring mine shafts with the uh, walls made completely of colored wool. I mean, this is really nice. The only thing I miss uh, is light. Uh, I just wish it was another way for me to get coal and or torches so that I could light this up better. But nope, there is no way for me. Does this go anywhere? Oh, it keeps going up here. I haven't seen a chest this entire time, this entire episode. Let's see... I'll travel to the end of this and if I don't find... I'll take this torch. Nope, nothing here. I think I should go back. I need to figure out where I came from. Okay, I police this. Alright, good. Good. Nice. That, that works. <laughs> that worked out fine. And we have our first melons! Finally, I think I'll plant them. This bread should last me for a little while. So what happens... What happens is that the Ender Dragon has yet another condition that you need to meet before it can spawn. And that condition uh, is just the one word value setting that you can set in the present, which is the word decoration. And <laughs> that is... that doesn't make too much sense. That specific... I need one more. That specific thing, the decoration word that you can put at the end of a present, is there so that if you enable it, it's going to make specific blocks that spawn under specific uh, conditions uh, appear in the world. For example, tall grass and flowers on top of grass, uh, of gra grass blocks. And the energy dragon makes no sense that it would only spawn uh, if that value is there, if that word is there, because it's a mob. <laughs> So it's weird. If anything, I would expect it to be a biome-dependent thing. And there is a there is a a word for that that you can put in your present that is biome underscore one. If you do that, uh, biome-specific things will spawn, like temples and uh, witches' huts, if they if you are in the right biome. So that, that, that seemed more like something that could affect the spawning of the inner dragon, but not the decorations. Hmm. So yeah, that uh, took a lot of time for me to figure out and more than I care to admit. But now I feel brave and uh, I feel better and... Uh, you. Let's see... So that... Yep, that, that's it. Last time I left... Uh, there is a torch here, uh, a torch here, a chest here. Where do you craft one? What kind of idiot am I? There is something I left... Uh, unfinished the last time I was talking about reaching the end. How did I put this here? I was talking about reaching the end and I mentioned... You know, I think I need to lower the floor. I mentioned that there are two ways to get to the end, to the end, which is something that would not be possible in a normal world, not a super flat one. In a normal game of Minecraft, you get to the end by activating an end portal, which means that you yeah, I need to make a stone one. Which means you need to find a stronghold. So you find a stronghold, and once you find a stronghold, you also need to get uh, Eyes of Ender. And to get Eyes of Ender, you need to either trade for them... Spooky! You, need, you either need to trade for them uh, with villagers, 
or you need to get to go to the nether to get the blaze rods and then get the blaze powder and mix them with the ender pearls and then finally you have your eyes of ender. <laughs> it's a lengthy process. We can do exactly the same thing in this present. I have enabled the, the spawning of strongholds and I even made them a tiny bit more common than they normally are. And I, I am kind of hoping to stumble across uh, one that gets all the way to the surface because I'm not planning on digging around for them, that would be suicide to take forever. The portal room in Strongholds has lava in it and there's just enough the lava uh, to, yes lava to allow you to build another portal so in this specific present we can find lava by finding a stronghold and so we can go to the nether and do our usual things and the pearls here are not going to be we're not going to be missing any pearls there's definitely not Enderman around for that so that is entirely possible it can be done normally we won't do that however because we have something else that we can do for to get to the end, which is a different kind of portal. As you all know, when you kill the Ender Dragon, the Ender Dragon is going to spawn a portal, and that portal is going to bring you back in the overworld. Uh oh, um, that's not my sword. I need to put another torch somewhere around here. Damn 1.5 skeletons! <laughs> One thing that may not be as intuitive as you may think, or it probably is, and that was just a dumb one. Nether portals and uh, end portals work exactly the same way. When you enter a portal, game checks in which dimension you're in. And it sends you in the, on, in the other one. So if you're in your world, another portal is going to send you in the nether. And the same nether portal that is made with the same blocks, there's nothing different about it. Uh, same portal in the nether is going to send you in the overworld instead. And the portals are exactly the same thing. They just check where you are and send you in the other, in the other dimension. Nom 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 This means that when we kill the Ender Dragon here in the overworld that we get because we're in a sky biome The Ender Dragon is going to spawn a portal and if we enter in that portal we're going to get in the end We're going to get to the end so we can get to the end without ever finding a stronghold and also sky uh, skipping the nether completely and that is really cool, and that's what's going to allow me to kill one dragon and immediately, right after that, go fight the other one, because I will have the portal right after that. So that is cool, and that's how we're going to do it. The strongholds, I left them in just because they're kinda interesting to explore. If I stumble upon one, I will gladly check it out. It's probably going to make it, uh, an interesting episode, instead of exploring mine shafts and stuff and it's going to be a very colored stronghold just like mine shafts here are so yeah I, I left them on but this game can be this specific project can be easily completed without the strongholds enabled at all it's super fat words are so much fun <laughs> I really like this uh, how there, there is another wooden block I don't need any more. I'm going to place down this chest. I got some water. What I'm going to do here is build a very quick and dirty skeleton spawner trap. I'm going to make an infinite source right here. Uh, because skeletons, as I mentioned, are my only way to get the arrows in this world. My only way at all. No chickens, no gravel. So that's... I, I need to kill many skeletons and I might as well build a trap if I have to do that. Uh, I need some extra wool. If I have some, I'll take the magenta one. What is left uh, to explain? Uh, uh, has this been asked to me in the comments already to my previous episode? 
the end pillars, the obsidian ones that will spawn. I can make it bigger, but whatever. That uh, will spawn in the end with crystals on top that are going to heal the Ender Dragon. Oh, is it what are going to go down there? Oops! Ah! No! Crap! <laughs> is it going to wash away things? Nah, no, it didn't. Ooh, okay. <laughs> My pawns are safe. <laughs> For, I tried to put down some water and I already destroyed stuff. <laughs> I guess I'll have to put this here while I'm working with this. The pillars! Will not spawn in our world. Which is uh, a shame because it's going to make uh, the end dragon fight uh, much uh, easier and faster because the dragon can't recover health. And however, the pillars can indeed spawn uh, if you meet the conditions. Where did I spawn? Oh, hello. Why are you there? Crap. Never be in the water when you're fighting a skeleton. Come here. Come here. Alright, please torch. <laughs> this is a tiny bit ridiculous. Nom, 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 nom. Ah! <laughs> I can't swim and eat at the same time, apparently. There you go. The pillars can be spawned in a super flat world if specific conditions are met. These conditions being. Uh, can I get back to my thing faster? I wonder. The conditions are one: the present has to have decorations enabled. There, does that remind you of something? The same decorations I was talking about before. Yes. Okay, it doesn't go all the way down here. Decorations have to be enabled. The biome has to be the correct one. So of course you have to be in a sky biome. And lastly, you need to set uh, the world up so that uh, the layer on top of all of them has to be endstone. That is the only con condition we are not fulfilling here, so that's why we will not get... What am I doing here? Oh yeah, I need to make signs. This is the only reason why we will not see the end pillars in this world, because I only made it uh, of uh, wool. There is no endstone anywhere. So we'll have to do without, uh, but it's for a good cause. I believe the only thing I haven't uh, explained uh, yet uh, is only one tiny bit little question. Why did I put two uh, things <laughs> of colored wool? One where we're playing now and the other one where we spawned on, on the very top. Uh, this is another thing I noticed as I was experimenting, this is dangerous, as I was experimenting with the... Uh, oh, I can't have this tunnel here. I need to put it here instead. Okay, better. I need blocks here. Another thing that I noticed by experimenting a lot with very super flat presets, and it seems to me, I may be wrong, I probably am actually, I also need to make a water source much closer if I want it to be useful. It seems to me that the Ender Dragon tends to always fly at a specific height. It tries to stick to layers between 50 and 100, I think, very approximately. Which is the height where the top of the end islands in the end tend to be. So that makes sense, the Ender Dragon is just trying not to ever fly too high for the player to make uh, the fight uh, boring, as if it's going to be constantly out of error range. And at the same time it's trying not to fall in the... Did I just throw something? It's trying not to, to fall in the void. I'm doing things wrong. I need blocks to be here. And... Jeebus, I don't need a hole. Ah! Okay, uh, I need this to be closed and this to be open, like this, and this I don't need it. Then I'll put one sign here. This needs to be closed, darn it. Yeah, I can leave it open for now. One sign here, and then I need one sign 
here. Finally. Finally we're starting to see things done. Being done. Oop. Except this is thing doesn't need to be here. Well I'll remove it later. So the skeletons are going to spawn in there and then be dragged in here and it'll start going upward once they started digging through this. Oh and uh, I already made this which is wrong. So I put blocks up there so that the in that is up there that it will fight the ender dragon. Because that's where the ender dragon tries to stick when it f when it flies. It tries to be up there. And if we were to fight down here, which is the height where that I need to be at to actually find the mine shafts, the, the the ender dragon will never come down here to fight me. So that's going to be boring. I am compromising. What we're doing here is playing at a height where mine shafts are going to spawn, and uh, at the same time having a height. Uh, oh, blah. Well, that wasn't necessary. Having a height up there, having blocks up there where we'll fight the ender dragon. That's it. I just need to build this. Uh, boop. This is easier to do in, in single player because if you do it on servers, uh, once you place down the sign, the world is not going to stop. Uh, I hope Enderman is not going to fall in here. The world is not going to stop. So you place the sign and then you start sinking. <laughs> but yeah. We'll keep working on this later. Now the explanations for this present are done, so I can talk about whatever the heck I want the next time. Thank you for sticking with, with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned something new, and I will see you next time.